Video games. One of the largest industries in the world today. But how did it all start? Well, many different people believe different things, and it all really depends on your perception of what is actually considered a video game. But I'm going neutral and going back as far as I can to find out what started it all. So, hey, I'm Pilot72, and this is the gaming years, 1947. Yeah, that's right. I said 47. If you can't believe this, it only means you're normal. If you can believe it, either you know exactly what I'm talking about, or this is actually more believable than I originally thought it was. Back in 1947, two physicists, Thomas T. Goldsmith Jr. and Ethel Ray Mann, came up with the idea to make a game based on World War II era based radar displays. The game they created used an oscilloscope for the display, and it used various knobs to play a simple game that involved firing light traces, which were to represent missiles, as stationary objects which were represented using an overlay. It was called the Cathode Ray 2 Amusement Device. Real creative name, guys. And that's it, right there, what you're looking at. I don't have any shots of the actual gameplay, but there it is. Goldsmith Jr. and Mann got a patent for their invention in 1948, but the CRTAD was never actually released to the public. Only the original prototypes were ever created. It kinda sucks, doesn't it? Any way you look at it, the CRTAD is the first patented electronic game, and it even had graphics. Well, sorta. But is it the first video game? If you think so, great. But if you don't, maybe you'll think the game in the next episode is the first. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching The Gaming Years. And check back soon for the next step in gaming, where we jump ahead to the 50s. I'm Pilot72, and I'll see you next time.